Simon. We now have Jennifer Robertson, CEO of bostontrading.co, and also Jeremy Britton. Hi, everyone. Great to see you here today. Welcome along. I know the post-lunch session can be a little bit, um, you know, everyone's quiet, they're digesting those sorts of things. So uh, I'm, I want to get kind of really up close and personal just to kind of get your heart racing a little bit. I uh, just wanted to ask a very personal question and that is, is there anyone here who is crypto curious? Crypto curious. Excellent. Hands up. Anyone got investments in crypto at the moment? Ah, fantastic. And still remain crypto curious. That's fantastic. Um, anyone here like Harry, who I met outside at our booth? Uh, so Harry said that he, whenever he hears Bitcoin or cryptocurrency, his blood pressure starts to raise. Is there anyone like that in here? Anyone? No. <laughs> well, well, look, what I'd like to do is to introduce you today to Boston Coins. So it's the world's first cryptocurrency managed fund. And the idea behind Boston Coin, if I can get this to work, it doesn't want to work. There we go. Uh, the idea behind Boston Coin is to address a critical problem when it comes to cryptocurrency. The problem is that it's a fairly new, a very new asset class, quite nascent. And so uh, essentially trying to understand what cryptocurrency is, what it does, and how to how to find the value in cryptocurrency can be very difficult. So, so not surprisingly, anyone who's been reading a paper over the last seven or eight years would know that cryptocurrency does unfortunately have a pretty bad name and it's got a bad name for a number of reasons. The first is that the market is unregulated uh, and so there's it feels a bit like the wild, wild west out there. And so looking at that unregulated market, people are nervous about putting their money in. And what makes them even more nervous is the fact that scams are something that um, is happening time and time again. And we hear time and time again that people have lost their money uh, due to a scam. So, uh, so cryptocurrency is not doing itself any favours when it comes to getting people with, you know, kind of real money, serious investors to put their money in and feel confident that they're going to be able to either retain that capital or maybe even get some kind of profit. So. So these are the two problems that come with cryptocurrency. And you can see here we've, uh, we've actually found a stat that says uh, up to 92.5% of cryptocurrency projects are a scam. And so spotting the scams is getting even more difficult nowadays. So that's part of the problem. Also trying to find out, well, if, you're, if you want to find that little percentage that isn't a scam, how on earth do you find that? How do you find those ones where you can feel confident that you've got your investment? It's, nothing's ever watertight, but at least you're not going to be losing it you know, in an instant overnight. So we came up with a bit of a solution, uh, and that solution is basically a crypto fund, which is a coin of coins. We fondly call it the coin of coins. It's Boston coin. It started in 2016. So it's a, it was at a time, I don't know if anyone's been involved with crypto since 2016, but I can tell you it was at a time where it's incredibly difficult to open a wallet, incredibly difficult to do any kind of research to find out what coins were out there, other than, you know, everyone kind of knew of this thing called Bitcoin, but it was considered a little bit kind of geeky and, you know, those sorts of things. So uh, in doing all of that kind of process, uh, it would be fair to say that um, I was trying to be, you know, kind of trying to learn about how to do it myself. And you can see that's one of the options when it comes to investing in crypto. However, I'm a very busy person uh, and I had, uh, I'm going to be really, really truthful, I had little intellectual bandwidth to kind of dedicate to trying to find out how to do this well uh, and navigate all of the complexity that was crypto at the time. So. Uh, so we actually, so speaking to Jeremy Britton, who is the CFO, he's the secret source to the, to the Boston coin, I might say, so uh, when it comes to choosing the coins, but it was, a, it was a case of, can you do it for me? Can you help me understand what are good coins to invest in? And Jeremy and Boston coin has gone one better and actually then said, well, let's mint that into a coin that is asset backed. Uh, and that's quite unusual for those of you who play in the crypto space, an asset backed crypto coin where the founders don't actually take a whole bunch of, you know, kind of print, print themselves a whole bunch of coins and then, you know, kind of pump and dump on the market. It's very, very rare. So we're professionally managed uh, and we are open for individual and retail investors. You can see we can get money from all sorts of places. 
So the solution itself, and this is part of the solution, so a, a number of people are asking, how do you know what coins to invest in? Um, what's your diversification? This is to give you a bit of a, a slice as to just how many coins are in the Boston coin offering. And so we do hold quite a few coins. You can see there the, the larger uh, holdings in Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, CRO. And what we do is also not just invest in the cryptocurrencies, invest in and you know, kind of research those crypto uh, coins, but also looking at the infrastructure that supports cryptocurrency. So uh, looking at technology like fiber optics and blockchain technologies, those sorts of things to be able to say, well, it doesn't matter which coin is a winner if we're investing in the underlying pieces of the infrastructure that go to supporting cryptocurrency, we're going to be winning anyway. So that's the idea. Uh, the idea is that you, we diversify your crypto holdings uh, with a view of actually reducing the volatility. Now, that's not the case for everyone. So um, when it comes to diversification, obviously in the crypto market, again, if you've been reading papers, you'll see that it can go up and down very, very quickly. Uh, and so diversification doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be able to get a, a good kind of return. But when it comes to our result, over the last, well, so we've been around since 2016 and we've kind of given you the last four years performance here um, and our average returns are 366% for four years and we were first to market. There is absolutely nothing that we withhold from you in the sense of uh, every month, Jeremy, whatever the market is doing, Jeremy will publish a newsletter, a monthly newsletter. It's a little bit irreverent, it's a little bit fun uh, and so, which is kind of really Jeremy's personality. Uh, so, but every month you'll see a newsletter which explains what he observes in terms of what's been happening in the crypto market over the last month, but also what he thinks is going to be happening in the near future. And so the potential itself is is extraordinary. So it's, it, this is not an Australia-wide thing, this is a potential worldwide thing. So uh, Jeremy here, and these are, this one's his particular slide that he loves, is the idea that, you know, we're really trying to be almost like the vanguard, you know, of cryptocurrency, this idea of allowing people who don't necessarily have, you know, enough money to buy a single Bitcoin to come in and actually diversify into something that is safe. You can see here that the opportunity itself for cryptocurrency, there's potentially a $90 trillion uh, opportunity sitting here when it comes to crypto hedge funds. In particular, looking at that statistic of most people don't necessarily want to invest themselves, so they don't, don't want to DIY, they want someone to do it for them. And so the potential itself is quite enormous. Looking here then uh, at the market, it would be fair to say that we are the only one that can really boast uh, a year on year for more than four years growth. So you look at other, other now, you know, kind of funds like this in the market, maybe two years, possibly three. So they're very, very rare, but we can give you that, that return. The, you know, we've given that return of 366% over the last four years um, solidly. Now, I'm going to go... The person who, and I'm pointing to him right now, you're, you're standing very straight up there on stage. So, so, so the person who is the secret source is actually Jeremy Britton, who's here on the stage. He's the CFO. He's the one that actually picks the coins. He's the one that does all the research. Um, it's, it's based on him being a financial planner for more than 20 years. He, he can sort of look at all of the tea leaves and figure out when the market's hot, when it might have a correction due. He doesn't necessarily say, for example, that he predicted the tech wreck or any of those sorts of things, but he just... He could see that there was something there and there had to be, you know, that it was a hair trigger before something was going to make the market, you know, kind of recorrect or correct in a very bad way. So, uh, so that's the kind of things that he does. Uh, and just wanting to point out as well that last bullet point there. So he tries to find and does find, he's very good at finding all of those uh, all of those coins which are uh, undervalued or perhaps pre-ICO and so he's picked a number of times the 10,000 plus percent returns. This is the <laughs> six times. So this is where Boston Coin um, has had all of its interest uh, from around the world just to help you know that it is a worldwide offering uh, and like all good CFOs he's not, not shy of being able to put himself up there on the screen as well. So. We're pretty proud of the track record there, particularly the Hacker Noon, 200,000 daily views, the Hacker Noon trifecta, where three Boston Coin stories came up. But you can see there um, interviews from uh, Yahoo Finance. Uh, it's one of the startups to follow, so a fair bit of media out there. But do 
come onto the website. So there's a free crypto newsletter there, um, and that's where you can sign up and have a look at all of our returns, and we're also out there on the stage. Jeremy? Cool. Thank you. I just wanted to say one word, because I know everybody has come in here like kids in a lolly shop, and there's so many exciting things that you can invest into. The one word to remember is liquidity. So I know you walked in here with your $400 million and you told me you had $4 million in the Swiss bank account. But when you're looking at all these companies, <clears throat> some of them are in the startup phase, you put all your money into that one, you might not see it for three or four years. So the idea is to spread it around like we do with the fund here, diversify. And obviously with our fund, we are asset backed. So we're investing in stocks and shares, we're buying exchanges, we're buying coins. So if you do change your mind or if the proverbial hits the fan and you need your money back, it's liquid you can actually phone up, send us an email, you can get your money back. So just a warning, keep some liquidity into some different companies where you can get it back if an emergency occurs, and obviously for the other ones you can invest into for long term. So I've been investing for more than 30 years, I've learned a lot of things, I've made some mistakes, I've learned a lot from that. So invest safely and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks Jennifer and Jeremy. Next we have Bill Kalatas. CEO of Tumsoft. Hi everybody, 